would be important to confess that growing up I was a geek who loved books and disliked physical activity beyond what was absolutely necessary. Going from being like this to becoming the first Asian male or female to compete in and finish Ultraman Canada, which is a triathlon having a 10 km swim, 420 km of biking and an 84.4 km run was truly an unexpected journey for me. I found myself in a place I had never imagined possible having received an education that was second to none. Anywhere but home is a book that chronicles my adventures in endurance as I competed all over the world pretty much on my own paycheck. I'm the product of two parents who come from rural Tamil Nadu who set the foundation for this adventure with their work ethic and sheer belief that their daughter and son were equals. This happens to be my greatest inspiration. Training in Bangalore of course was a twist in the tail and given our minimal relationship with the outdoors there were many many anecdotes that were funny and heartbreaking as I trained for triathlons in the early days. My training was mostly in the darkness of the night or early in the morning because I simply could not train once the traffic started moving. For anyone that has visited a big city in India, the visual of traffic can be way more daunting than any physical activity you may choose to partake in. I did the best I could training and racing in India at a time when endurance sport was not popular at all. Coaches I approached recommended that I get married instead of swimming. There were no bathrooms for women in the running stadiums and riding, let me tell you, was a hilarious attempt in a totally different dimension. These were truly the early days. After several years of competing and finally rising in the ranks at Indian road races, and placing amongst the elites of India i took a phd scholarship to get to new zealand so that i could get better at my sport i used my scholarship to access better training facilities if you will to start the ultraman and then to finish it again was a culmination of many years of negotiating with small and large barriers mental physical emotional and spiritual this sort of expedition with my mind, body and soul, my playing a game of chess with the definition of my own identity. To play that game with a nose ring and some spandex made for an aerodynamic adventure which I hope is worth sharing.